Hi, today we are going to show you three easy ways that students can access their Pulse survey. The first option is to use the pop-up from the extension that was installed for all students. As a student is working online in Chrome, they will see Boogie, the little dog down in the right bottom corner of their screen. This is their invitation to take their survey. They simply click on Boogie and then click the green arrow to begin answering questions. The second option is useful for a couple of scenarios. First, if a student clicked on Boogie but then clicked the X to close him out, it would cause Boogie to snooze for three hours, which means the student would not see him pop up for that duration. Students can reopen the Pulse survey by going to the top extension bar and clicking the K. If the K is not pinned in their extension bar, they can also click on the puzzle piece and find Pulse by Kelvin in their list of installed extensions. This option is also useful if a school or class would like all of their students to take the Pulse at the same time rather than waiting for Boogie to pop up. The third option can also be used for a school or a class that would like to take the Pulse survey synchronously and would be the primary method for students to access the Pulse if they are using iPads. Administrators or teachers can put, either push out a URL to all students through Google Classroom or another method, or they can direct them to search for pulse.kelvin.education. On this page, students will be prompted to sign in with Google using their school email account. Once they've signed in, they'll see their Pulse survey and click the green arrow to begin answering questions. And that's it. Those are the three easy ways for students to access their Pulse surveys.